What's up everybody? I am here at Mini Burger Plus in Cookville, Tennessee where they have an undefeated burger challenge. Uh, with this challenge you have 45 minutes to eat 25 of their mini burgers along with a plate of fries and a 24 ounce soda. Uh, it's currently undefeated but if we win we'll get the meal for free and an awesome t-shirt so we're going to go inside and check it out. Wish me luck. He beat this challenge too. Hey, how are you? Uh, Pretty good, how are you doing? We're a little busy. It looks like it. I heard there's a burger challenge here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right, um, Set up wherever you want. Like, right. um, we got tables there, we've got some outside. Don't matter to me. Whatever you want to do. Okay guys, so this is it. Uh, 25 of these mini burgers, uh, they are customizable. Uh, I got the hamburger, onion, and pickle. That's how they come standard. I got ketchup and mustard on the side. Uh, 45 minute time limit, and here is the plate of fries out of the screen. But uh, so far nobody's done this yet. Uh, we may have a couple more challengers here in the near future. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna dive right in and get started. Uh, do you have a timer? I got one here as well. Okay. Whatever you like to go by. We can go by yours, that's fine. Alright, uh, do you do, you know what? Let's just do this. What? Alright guys, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. These things are looking good. They're nice and soft. Came right off the grill. I got to reset this because it's showing time. Okay guys, so uh, we're going to get started. Three, two, one. Go. Hey everyone, today I'm at Mini Burger Plus where they have a relatively new challenge and it's simply called, well, the Mini Burger Challenge. Now these are sliders and you do have the options of getting them with or without cheese and topped however you wish. Now I got them as hamburgers because that's how I've always enjoyed them and I got them with pickles and onion which is standard. It's served with a plate of fries and you must also finish a 24 ounce drink within the 45 minute time limit in order to get the meal for free and a really cool t-shirt. The drink does have to be included as well, guys. So like I said, this has been going on since the beginning of the month, and after talking to the manager about it, she said there is quite a bit of interest, but nobody wanted to be the first one in case they didn't complete it. And I totally understand that. The restaurant was excited about this challenge, and they wanted to promote it by streaming the challenges live, and that can be intimidating if you're already a little bit less than confident about whether you're going to finish it or not. One thing I absolutely loved about these burgers were that they put the pickle on the outside of the bun and I've never seen that before and it was really functional from a food challenge standpoint. The pickles kept the steamed buns from drying out as they were waiting to be eaten. How cool is that? So the gentleman to the left of the screen came in with his son and both want to give the challenge a try but were a little bit hesitant. They waited until they saw what my challenge looked like because the challenge was a little vague in the description about how many fries the challenge came with. Now once they saw what my challenge looked like they both ended up attempting the challenge and I stayed after my challenge was over to cheer both of them on. You got to remember, I was watching food challenges long before I ever attempted my first one and I still love seeing people come in and attempt them. So if you ever see me do a challenge and you want to do one too, you at least have one person cheering you on.
Okay, the first plate of burgers are down and I'm going to get to some of these fries that were piping hot when the challenge began. So I actually stayed a long time after my challenge and there ended up being four challenges in total that day. I guess they just needed someone to come in and kick it off, but since none of them recorded themselves doing the challenges, I guess I can go ahead and give the results. Of the other three challenges, the gentleman to the left of the screen was the only one to get the win. He finished around 44 and a half minutes and that was his first challenge win and I think that's pretty awesome to be there and witness it happen. So for all you slider lovers out there, is this challenge something that you would attempt? And if you did, how would you get your burgers topped? Would you keep them plain? Would you add cheese? They did say you could get it topped however you wish. So let me know in the comments below. No, the best part bad, stack them up, except for one. You've done this time, you've only been doing this for about seven minutes so far. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Maybe eight. Now, Mini Burger told me that if a lot of people end up winning, they may create a second challenge possibly doubling the number of burgers. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing me come back and attempt, let me know and also like and follow them and let them know that you want to see me come back. Mini Burger Plus has been a staple in the community and they've been serving the town of Cookville for over 53 years. They've held true to a simple menu and they obviously do it well and they're coming up with some new ideas about events and small additions to the menu so like and follow them to keep up with that. And I want to thank Bianca and the great crew at Mini Burger Plus for the great challenge and letting me watch the other challengers take it on because I probably had as much fun after my own challenge just watching the other challenges. And with that said, 
I'm going to get off here, let you finish the video, and as always, have a blessed week. Most of my challenges in Tennessee have been burger challenges and uh, I haven't had a bad burger yet. So if you like that, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel out very much and I will see you next time.